Hey everybody, if you're here for the first time, I'm Steve, and my travel channel is about taking nostalgic trips to the past. And I'm here in Palm Springs, California. It's Modernism Week here, one of the most popular events here in the desert, and it celebrates mid-century modern architecture. And one of the gems of mid-century modern architecture here in the city of Palm Springs is the former home of Dinah Shore. So I'm gonna visit and show you her house, and I'm also gonna show you four other Dinah Shore destinations, including her final resting place, her memorial street sign, her memorial statue, and her memorial star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. And if you're curious about these giant baby statues here in this enormous sandbox in downtown Palm Springs, I'll show you more and tell you about them near the end of this video. Thanks for joining me on another trip down memory lane. So I'm standing in front of the Palm Springs Art Museum here, right in front of Dinah Shore's star on the Palm Springs uh, Walk of Stars. And just uh, one star away is George Montgomery. For those of you who might not be familiar with George Montgomery and Dinah Shore, they were married for 20 years, from 1943 to 1963 and they were a pretty hot Hollywood couple back in the day. George was an actor who appeared in more than 100 movies and TV shows, mostly Westerns, and after he retired, he became a very well-known artist. During her career, Shore had more than 70 hit recordings and was one of the top female recording artists of the 1940s. She later became famous as a television personality and hosted a number of variety and talk shows over the years the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. And if you were alive in the 1970s, I'm sure you remember that Shore became one of the first famous cougars when she became romantically involved with Burt Riddles, who was 20 years younger than she was. Since Dinah Shore's star is located right across the street from where this year's Modernism Week event is taking place, and since her home, which was designed by mid-century modern architect Donna Wexler, is considered to be one of the best examples of mid-century modern architecture here in the city of Palm Springs, maybe in the world. This just seemed like the perfect time to do this travel video to remember her and her famous former home. So I have to get a selfie here in front of the Modernism logo, which is right across the street from the Palm Springs Art Museum. Every year for more than a decade, people from all over the world, like us, who love all things nostalgia and vintage, and especially from the mid-1900s, visit Palm Springs during Modernism Week, which is now actually two weeks long, to take mid-century modern home tours, sightseeing trips, shopping trips. There are just so many parties and special events and movies and gatherings. It's a really fun time to visit Palm Springs. So as I head back to my car on Palm Canyon Drive and on to the next destination, I'll show you a few fun and interesting sights along the way. Batman Adam West's star is just a couple of blocks from his former Palm Springs home. And Marilyn Monroe was reportedly discovered here at the Racquet Club. You could really spend all day just walking up and down Palm Canyon Drive and a couple of the other streets checking out the stars who currently live here or who formerly lived here. And as you can see, we definitely love our nostalgia here. Now I'm going to head about 10 to 15 minutes southeast of downtown Palm Springs to Cathedral City in the final resting places of Dinah Shore and George Montgomery. Both of them were cremated and both of them have their ashes divided and interred in two separate cemeteries. I'm not aware of any other famous people, or any people at all for that matter, who have done this. Are any of you aware of anyone who's done this before? Dinah Shore has part of her ashes interred here at Forest Lawn in Cathedral City, here in the desert where she lived much of her life, and another portion of her ashes are interred at Hillside Memorial Cemetery in Culver City, California. Dinah Shore was born February 29, 1916, in Winchester, Tennessee, and died February 24, 1994, from complications of ovarian cancer at the age of 77 in Beverly Hills, California. 
Of her many TV shows and movies and hit songs, I probably remember her best for this. See the USA in your Chevrolet. Who remembers that little advertising jingle? So how many of you owned a Chevrolet back in the day and took a road trip with your parents? Or maybe you're still taking a road trip in your Chevy today. Please let us know down in the comments section. My family had a Chevy back in the 1960s, and I do remember taking a road trip from California to Colorado one summer to visit relatives, and I still have lots of great memories of that trip. How about you? Any road trips in your Chevy to share? As you can see from Dinah's niche, you have a direct view of George Montgomery's niche. I think it's pretty cool that even though they were divorced, it's pretty obvious that they remained friends for life. George Montgomery has part of his ashes also at Forest Lawn Cathedral City, and another portion of his ashes are interred at Highland Cemetery in Grant Falls, Montana, not far from where he was born. George Montgomery was born August 29, 1916 in Brady, Montana, and died December 12, 2000 in Rancho Mirage, California at the age of 84. Next, I'm going to head to Dinah Shore's street sign and also the statue that was sculpted of her by George Montgomery. They're both located just a mile or two south of the cemetery in the city of Rancho Mirage, up the street that this cemetery is located on. Many of the streets here in the desert are named after the famous people who have lived here, but Dinah Shore Drive is one of the main thoroughfares here in the greater Palm Springs area. And the Mission Hills Country Club, where her Dinah Shore golf tournaments were held, is located right on Dinah Shore Drive. And that's also where her statue is located. Mission Hills Country Club isn't open to the public though, so to see the statue, you have to know someone who lives here, or you have to be staying here at one of their luxury villa vacation rentals, or you can attend one of the events that are held here. This isn't the statue that I was talking about, but both of these art pieces are located right behind the clubhouse. This is a relief portrait of Dinah Shore, and the artist has cleverly included a golf club as part of the relief. I remember that back in the day, my grandparents and their friends used to regularly go to watch her golf in the tournament. I found this old photo of my grandmother, that's her on the left, and on the back of the photo it says Palm Springs Golf Classic 1964. But it doesn't say which one. I know they used to go to the Bob Hope Golf Classics as well, so I'm not sure if this was taken at the Dinah Shore Tournament or maybe one of the other golf tournaments. And they pretty much went to all of the golf tournaments every year. Well, here's the statue, and as you can see, it's right behind the clubhouse. The plaque at the base of the statue reads, Dinah Shore, First Lady of Golf, from Dinah's strongest friends and supporters, the family of Nabisco Companies, dedicated March 2000. And that was the year George Montgomery died. Not only was Montgomery a terrific actor, but he might even have been a better sculptor. His statues are very lifelike and realistic. And behind this statue at the base is a plaque with his name. It says George Montgomery, Sculptor. As you can see, it's a pretty windy February day here, and pretty chilly as well, at least by Palm Springs standards. It's sunny and around 60 degrees. But fortunately, the only snow we get is in the mountains. And for those of you who have never been to Palm Springs, and think of it as just a hot desert, we have around 100 golf course communities here. And this is what most of the desert tends to look like here, making this possibly one of the greenest deserts in the world. So now I'm going to head out of Mission Hills Country Club and I'm going to make a left-hand turn on Dinah Shore Drive and head west for about 10 to 15 minutes until I reach downtown Palm Springs and the former home of Dinah Shore. And for those of you who might be planning a trip in the future to the Palm Springs area, I'll put links down below this video to all of the places that I'm visiting today. So I just arrived at Dinah Shore's former Palm Springs home here on Hermosa, 
and there's a huge semi truck in front of the house blocking. Now, the reason there's a big semi truck out in front is that they had a modernism event here at the house last night, and they're just breaking everything down and just uh, cleaning up and taking off. So let me see if I can actually uh, get in front of the house. There's a lot of people here working, and uh, looks like they have security. So I'm not sure I'll be able to, but let me see what I can show you. All right. Okay, so it looks like instead of a red carpet, they have a black carpet going up. That's normally just a, a sidewalk. They had a nice uh, carpet here for the event. So you can see the, uh, the front of the house here. It's really cool. It's, a, like I said, mid-century modern, one of the gems here in the city of Palm Springs. It's now a luxury rental, and they have special events like this. They probably do movies and TV and advertising as well. I don't know. A lot of the homes do. A lot of the former celebrity homes now are used as vacation rentals and I'll put the link down below this video so you can actually you know click on it and see photos of the uh, the interior of the house and you can see right behind me this big semi truck is just cleaning up from last night's event let me walk around and show you show it to you from a different angle as well So you can see it's a really beautiful uh, three-car garage here. The pool is right behind that hedge right there. It has a huge lot. Beautiful mountain views. I'm here at the wrong time of day to show you the, the mountain views. Well, look how simple and sleek and clean this is. These clean lines, this was so indicative of the uh, mid-century modern architecture back in the 1960s. So as I promised at the beginning of this video, for those of you who are interested in knowing a little bit more about these Palm Springs baby sculptures, I discovered that artist David Cerny started this series of sculptures back in 1994, and apparently they've been shown all over the world. And three of them currently live outside of the Prague Museum. Have any of you been there to see them? They're each nine feet tall, and there are ten of them currently here on display in what we call the sand pit or the sandbox. This used to be part of the Palm Springs Fashion Plaza, which was demolished a couple of years ago and is now being used for public art installations until new construction is completed. The babies all have barcode faces as a statement about dehumanization. It's pretty awesome and pretty creepy at the same time. So what do you guys think of this uh, artwork? So I hope you enjoyed today's trip down memory lane. And if any of you would like to receive a postcard from me from one of my trips, you can check out my new Patreon page for details, and I'll put the link to that down below this video. So until next time, thanks for sharing the memories.